Hey guys, I'm Pat Kelly. Okay, in this problem, they ask us to find average rate of change of a function that they'll give you from one x value to another x value. And I've kind of got it started here if they're asking me for average rate of change, but what I didn't write down yet is the formula. So I want to suggest to you that this is something you want to produce, you want to provide as a first step. Just go ahead and write your formula for average rate of change, which is this fraction, f of x sub 2 subtract f of x sub 1 in the numerator and then x sub 2 minus x sub 1 in the denominator. And part of knowing that formula is I hope you've realized that hey that's just slope because that's exactly what it is. Difference of y's over difference of x's. Okay? So for this type of problem you really just want to plug in your particulars. So f of my x sub 2 is 3, subtract f of x sub 1, my x sub 1 is 0, and then x sub 2 minus x sub 1, 3 minus 0. Now it's simplify. In the numerator I'm looking at some function notations, so you want to be able to take your arguments and plug them into the original function. This will equal plugging a 3 in minus 2 times 3 plus 15. And let me grab this just for organizational sake so you can keep track of where you're at. That's actually just my f of 3 in the step before, right? So I'll pick up here with that subtraction f of 0, now I'm plugging a 0 up into the original, plus 15, and I'll do that grouping again. And this is a case where that grouping is really important because of that subtraction sign, okay, if we were to distribute it. I think we'll actually just calculate it. So that's that. Second set of square braces. Pick back up in the formula, big divided by, I think I'll do this one. 3 minus 0 is just 3. And I'll go down one more step. In terms of doing that one, I'm going to do more arithmetic, okay? The cleanup here is actually just arithmetic. So I'm looking at a negative 6 plus 15, that's 9. Subtract here, I'm getting 0 plus 15. So 15, still divided by 3. It looks like a negative 2, and that would be our average rate of change for this function over those two points. Okay? So reach these problems, you're actually just calculating slope. Okay, practice some more on your own.